Hey guys, how you doing? Right here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Remember to follow me on Facebook. Type in Nitro Kyosho. All one word will bring you to the community page. I just got this today in the mail, guys. I'm excited. It is uh, the HD uh, helicopter uh, designed in Germany. This is a 500 class helicopter. Uh, they call it the HD Cell 500. Uh, I'll give you a a couple of little bits about it. We'll read some of the stuff off the box and then we'll do an unboxing. I want to thank my good friend Long Vu at Healy Direct. They're great shipping, fast shipping, and great prices. Uh, so this has, this was designed in Germany, guys. I don't know if the parts are made in Germany. I doubt that, but let's not jump the gun. We'll check that out as we go. Uh, it has a direct belt drive system. Uh, it runs 470 to 500 millimeter blades. Uh, you've got options with motors ranging from 890 kV up into the 1100. Uh, they're saying ultra quiet drivetrain. Uh, the name, the cell, comes from this block of aluminum that's in there that everything is kind of integrated off of, uh, which we'll see. Um, it says it has a belt tensioner. Um, it can run batteries ranging from in the 3000 to the, to the 4000 range. And this company uh, looks like it popped up around 2013, guys. So, let's read some stuff quick off of the box here for you. Technical data. Uh, it's 500 class. Uh, it's optimized for 6L operation. Main blades range here. It says from 430 to 500. With the 465 millimeter main blade, uh, it comes with here uh, newly let's see new direct belt drive system, 18 millimeter belt. It's lightweight aluminum wheels for silent operation. Uh, takeoff weight approximately the uh, it says here 1750 gram without batteries. Uh, length uh, 970 millimeters. Uh, width for 140 millimeters, height 295 millimeters, tail rotor is 222 millimeters, main rotor shaft is 10 millimeters, the tail shaft is 5 millimeters, and it has a main drive gear of 120. Okay, so let's get this thing open, guys, and let's see how it's packaged, what we got in the box, and we'll look over um, the manual. And I'll show you that. So, let's spin this around here so we can get this stuff out. It's beautifully packaged, guys. You've got your manual right on top here. Okay, your blade holder. I'll bring some of the stuff over and show it to you. Okay, nice padding on top. Very nicely packaged. Uh, I'll show you the top of it here, guys, how it looks. Okay. And it looks like we have a carbon tail boom here, guys. Okay, it looks like we have our components, uh, rudder rod struts are inside of this. Show you this quickly. Close. This is a real carbon boom, guys. Okay. guys actually instead of running back and forth I think I'm gonna pull that off of the pod and show you this stuff up close and personal instead of running back and forth to the camera and we'll try not to shake and make you guys dizzy so it's beautifully packaged okay very nice looking quality machining on these okay get your one way inside of there Okay, this is your tail for the tail. Okay. Uh, now this is what I was talking about here, guys. This is what how it got its name, the cell. Okay, because everything your servos one here. Uh, okay, the motor obviously goes in there, main shaft and everything, and it looks like some servos mount off of the back so it looks like two in the back and one on the side okay very nice looking quality 
Uh, you got your main blade grips here. Head block housing. Feels to be pretty good and nicely machined quality aluminum, guys. Let's take a look at the swash. Okay, and I like this. Notice they have these so the bearing can't pull out. One, two, three. What I actually developed on the Goblin <laughs> that I never got credit for. Okay, uh, you got your tail blade grips here. Okay, some other aluminum, another block here. Uh, and let me see if I can get this hopefully off without having to good. Cut that off there. All right, we got our canopy here, which looks to be very nice. Looks like it's already pre-cut out up on top there uh, for different varieties of motors because this has a, a big wide variety of different motors it can run. Got some nice air inducts here, keep everything cool. Looks to be pretty good quality. Holes are already pre-made there. Probably got to make sure you have to expand those a little bit. Uh, looks like they give you some uh, battery tie downs there, some Velcro. And we've got our uh, main blades here, which look to be fairly nice and look to be kind of color coordinated with uh, the canopy. So let me put this now back on the pod, guys, now that I showed you the inside and how nicely it's packaged. And we can show you some of the other components in there. So you can get an idea of the other stuff. Okay, so we've got that stuff out, and we have our belts down in here, guys. Okay, we've got our tail belt here. Okay, and this looks to be very good quality 3M Opti Belt Omega. Okay. So let me just grab the rest of the stuff here out. We've got our frame down in here. Okay. Looks to be pretty good quality, pretty thick carbon fiber. Okay. Now, let's show you what else we got here. Uh, I'll show you some of these bags, how they're packaged up a little bit. Okay. It looks like everything is numbered pretty nicely, guys, kind of along the lines of the goblins. Okay. Uh, it looks like here we've got our tail section, a lot of that in there. Okay, I'm not going to open all of these up, guys. Uh, people like unboxing, so I do them. They're kind of tough to do. Here's the, it's a two-part kind of a little bit different than the Goblin design. It's got like a carbon fiber half and then actual skids like an aligned T-Rex that go off of it. And a nice breakaway system, they tell me. Not that we want to see it break away. Got a bunch of carbon pieces in here. These are parts of the skids, guys. And this looks to be just a lot of screws, washers, rubber dampeners. We've got our main shaft, uh, feathering shaft. It looks to be pretty good thickness and good quality uh, steel. And these shafts almost, they look to me, there's no openings really. They look to be solid, guys. So these shafts are probably going to be very, very strong. Okay. So... Let's get to the most important part of this, guys, and that would be the manual. Because I haven't looked at it, obviously, either. So, let's see what we got here. Start at the beginning. Okay. Now, this is saying, guys, uh, they're recommending, okay, uh, you can use a... Uh, let's see, if not included, the motor, 4015,050 kV uh, to a 4020, 1100 kV. Now, I've seen people using less, like I said, in the 800s. 
Uh, lipo pack 3700 to 5000. It depends on your setup, guys. Uh, 120 amp ESC uh, is recommended. Uh, and then it just tells you the tools and everything you need for assembly. Uh, now, just before we go any further, guys, Healy Direct does have these in full kits where you can get uh, the ESC, you can get all the servos, you can get the motor, you can get the whole thing, or you can piece it out, a motor, a fly burla system, whatever you want. But they have a lot of options there, so make sure if you're in the market for one of these to definitely uh, be aware of that if your budget is uh, not uh, a lot of money right up front and you do want to start a build. Okay. It looks like the first step here, guys, is going to be assembling the rotor head. The directions are about as clear as the goblins, okay, if you can see that. Uh, and it looks to be very a very good manual right off the bat. I mean, these are like the goblins. They are just extremely blunt and very clear, okay. And the measurements, obviously, for everything your arms okay but at first glance here I'm impressed okay at the manual I'll give you just a few shots here okay there is the cell and that's what we we're talking about that's the way the servos go into it one on the side and then two in the back okay and it shows you everything extremely clear guys everything is written very very nicely uh, at first glance, it does not look to be like a uh, hair-pulling, mind-boggling assembly. It looks to be very well thought out, uh, kind of along the lines with the, like the goblins with less parts. Um, here's a little shot of how the tail servo is assembled down in there, how that sits in there. Okay, now we will be doing a final build video on this, guys. Okay, well, I'm going to show it to you. And then we will be doing a 3D flight with this thing. So we're going to go right from the, this, uh, putting this thing together, okay, uh, to doing one final build when it's all assembled. And then we will do a 3D flight on a weekend, probably in the next week or so. Uh, the ESC sits up there in front, fly barless system in the back. See, the motor is protected by the cell. Uh, that's what I was talking about, the skids. You got your carbon fiber, and then you got down here your actual aluminum pipe, like in a line setup. Uh, and then pitch and all that setup and different things at the end, it tells you. But remember, guys, setting up uh, your batteries, your ESC and motor is all going to change everything, your blade size, so make sure... Uh, when you get one of these uh, and you want to build one before you start buying anything, okay, some more shots there, make sure that you have everything coordinated, the proper motor to work with the proper ESC and the proper main blades for the gearing and everything, okay, because you can really get yourself in a bunch of trouble uh, putting the wrong this and the wrong that, okay. Uh, there is the actual pinion okay that the belt rides on going off of the motor okay so a little bit different of a design than like the goblins okay it's kind of a long slender uh, pinion it says here a 15 tooth is included and that's for a six millimeter shaft okay but very nice looking manual guys I'm impressed uh, I think you know, the nicer a manual is, the smoother the build goes, the easier the build goes. Uh, so, now like I said, this was designed in Germany, guys, just like the Goblin was designed in Italy, but I don't know if the parts were actually made, okay, in Germany. That would be very, very, very expensive. So, uh, uh, probably along the lines of the Goblin, uh, you're not going to see any kind of stamps anywhere on this stuff telling you uh, where it was made. So, designed in Germany and probably parts uh, probably uh, from China, guys. So, uh, anyways, there it is. 
Uh, I'm going to get started on this as soon as I get the camera off. I'm excited. Thanks again to my good friend Long Vu at Hilly Direct. Thank you for their quick shipping. Uh, I got this in, in two days from them. And uh, the aluminum looks really nice. One more couple of little shots I'll show you quick again. And then we'll call it a video, guys, and get started. The quality of the aluminum and the way it's machined is definitely first class, guys. It definitely looks nice. So could it be made in Germany? Yeah, sure. I mean, there's a possibility, but I just don't have that information for you. That's something you probably have to do a little research to find out about. But we'll call this a video, guys. Uh, I'll let you know how I'm going to set it up. Motor, uh, ESC, the whole deal. And... Uh, Hopefully in another week or so, you'll see this guy out there doing some good 3D maneuvers. So, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.